This is code.org. I'm working on their CS discoveries lessons, and I'm in their web development, which is unit two. I'm on lesson 13, part three. Let's see what we're doing. Mm, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Oop, wrong way. All right, winter color. In the next few levels, you'll be finding seasonal colors for a website. Here, you'll need to find the RGB values for a wintry blue color. Click Run to start the widget. Adjust the levels until you match the wintry color at the bottom of the widget. Write the RGB values on the activity guide, so it's on that paper we have. You will need them in the next activity. All right, so wintry blue, huh. Let's go ahead and hit Run and start trying to make this color. I'm really not sure. Ooh, mm, that doesn't look good. So do we want that max and this lower? Hmm. This might be tricky. Looks like this is going to be right around here, maybe. Let's see. And then green, it looks like if we move it down, it really changes the color and throws us off. So maybe a bit higher. Hmm. That's looking a bit better. And then let's try blue. Yeah, so blue has to be really high, but that looks, it's a bit dark. Hmm. You know, that looks good to me. So on my paper then, I would write um, in those boxes, red, green, blue, well, this, 196, 231, and then 253. And then for the code, it would want, it should just be RGB. And then in the parentheses, you're going to write your numbers. So kind of like the stuff above on that worksheet. Now, all right, I think we got three done. Let's keep going.